Now we are ready for step two. We have created a class and we have added students to that class. And now we're going to create the quiz slides in PowerPoint and Quizmaster. To begin, we're going to click on the Quizmaster icon. And you'll notice that as Quizmaster loads, it also automatically loads PowerPoint. The very first dialog box that comes up will allow us to choose our class from a drop-down list. Notice that when you choose a class, it also shows the student list with the ID numbers of the students. It's always a good idea to check these to make sure that the class is correct and to make sure that you haven't forgotten any students that you might need to add. In step one, we created a class called My New Class with two students, and so we're going to open that. You can also select a teacher's name from a drop-down list, and you can select a subject if you wish. Click OK, and now we have a blank PowerPoint screen from which to work. Now you'll notice here in the top right-hand corner is the Quizmaster menu bar. There are two different modes to this menu bar. This is the presentation mode. We'll use this later during class, but for now we want to use the editor because we're creating our quiz. So click on the editor here and you'll see that this menu bar changes and we're going to go to new and create a new quiz called My New Quiz. Click Open, and now we are ready to begin with a blank PowerPoint slide. At this point, you can use all of the features that are native to PowerPoint. You can insert video, audio, pictures. For this purpose, we're going to do a very simple question and uh, show you how to go through in a very fast way. So let's go to insert and we're going to insert a text box for our question. What is the preposition in this sentence? May sat on the rock and read her book. Let's create, let's create another text box for our answer possibilities. A, B, C, D, E, and F. You can create as few as two, as many as six answer options. You can also use the animations that are built into PowerPoint. Everything will work normally when you present your lesson later in class. So you can be as creative and take as much time or as little time as you need for your quiz. Again, we're doing this very quickly, something very basic. So now we have our basic question, and we want to now encode the answers so that when the students respond, everything will be taken care of inside the Enjoy system. Go up to the menu bar and click Question Set. And this will bring up the dialog box. Now, you'll notice on the left that there are several options here. They have default settings. Now, we're not going to change those because we're going to do this quickly. But you can change any of these. Simply consult the help manual or the other tutorials. For this, we're simply going to go quickly and we're going to type in a question title, question one grammar. 
This can also be the same as your question text above. And then you can type in your answer options. A. Rock. B. Book. C. On. D. Red. E. And. And F. The. It's not necessary to type these in, but it is helpful because when you put the answers here, they will also show in the histograms and the graphs that you show later in class. What is important is to select the correct answers. Now for this particular question, what is the preposition in this sentence? The correct answer is C. So we will select C and tick this box. You'll also notice here for valid options, this is the number of possible answers for a given question. If this question had only four possible answers, we would mark A, B, C, and D. But since we used all six here, then we have this mark as A, B, C, D, E, and F. Now we click OK, and we have now created our question with all of the encoding that is needed later during the presentation in class. It's done. To add our next question, we simply go up to the menu bar here, click Add, and it automatically opens another slide in PowerPoint. We do this for all of our questions, and when we're finished, then we go up to Save, and because I have a blank dialog box here, it's giving me a warning, but we don't really care about that right now. We're going to go ahead and save this as my grammar quiz. And it is set. Step two, completed. And now we're ready to do our presentation in class. Step three.